This video is meant as a refresher on how to print the output of a Python project. If you have just watched the video, which covered Python programming in a Jupyter Notebook, and you feel comfortable with printing your Python project, then you do not need to watch this video. If you feel like you need a refresher, or you are not comfortable following the steps in the previous video, you will want to watch this short video. Assuming that you have started a project, such as this one, and you have completed all of the cells of code within a Python project, you are ready to print the output. There are multiple ways within CoCalc to print the output of a file. Unfortunately, they don't always work and whether or not they work may depend on the particular computer or laptop you are using and the particular system you are using. In order to find the place to print, click on File at the top of the CoCalc system in the ribbon. We're going to use one of two options, save and export as PDF, or save and export as HTML. I have the most luck in using save and export as HTML via classic notebook convert. You will want to go ahead and click on HTML via classic notebook convert and wait as the pop-up menu will let you know while it's exporting how long it takes until it is ready to be opened. Then once you see it, you can go ahead and click on the blue name of the file, which is a link. When you open it, you will see the HTML code for your Python project showing all input and output lines. You will want to hold down the control key or the command key on a Mac and press P for print. Depending on your system, select Adobe PDF or save to PDF. When you are doing this, you will want to scroll through the project and make sure, for example, that it is wrapping the lines of code and not truncating them or cutting them off. It is clearly wrapping the lines of text that you see here, but on occasion, depending on how you save it, it may not wrap the code. This is a good example of a line of code that is very long. However, using classic notebook convert, it wrapped the line of code so that your instructor will be able to see everything that you did. This is especially helpful if you need help in troubleshooting your program. Once you have selected how to save it, click on save and save it somewhere to your computer. Let's take a look at another example of how we can save this particular file. One option is to save as and export as HTML via JupyterLab Notebook Convert. I do not recommend you use this. Let's see what happens when we do save it using this particular method. It will probably work and it will give you a file to open as HTML. The HTML will look fine. There will be no indication that something has gone awry. When you click on it, it looks very similar to what we saw last time. However, when you go to print using control P, notice now that that very long line of code, if I can find it again, here it is, plot quiver has been truncated. It did not wrap the text for the line of code to the next line. Your instructor will not be able to read all your lines of code. And especially if they are trying to help you debug your system, they will not be able to see everything. I do not recommend that you use that option. There are other options as well, which is to save and export as PDF. 
but I generally do not have good luck getting this to work. I have used several of these and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. There are two options with Chrome. And again, I would recommend if you want to try it to use classic notebook convert. We could try saving as a PDF, but I'm afraid it will get hung up and give us an error message. When you print out your file, you will want to make sure that all of your output code is visible and all your lines of code are visible so your instructor can grade it and assess you fairly and also so they can help you to debug your code. If you need more help in working in Python, you will find many different websites devoted to using Python and also to Jupyter Notebooks, where you should be able to find answers to relatively simple, straightforward questions. For anything more advanced, see your instructor.